video we'll be talking about why it might seem that a narcissist is winning and we will also give you three tips on what you can do about it to make the best life for yourself. Hi, welcome to Feeling is Healing where we support people who have previously felt powerless in relationships to develop self-trust in order to step into their power and live happier, healthier and more fulfilling lives. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell to make sure that you're reminded as soon as new content is launched. My name's Rachel, I'm a life coach and theta healing practitioner and I have been studying narcissistic abuse for the past eight years. And so this video is for you, um, not only if um, you might have left a narcissist in a personal situation recently yourself, but also if you're struggling with um, current situations in society as a whole, you might notice the same dynamics uh, playing out. So this is giving to support for a variety of people um, and intention is to give you reassurance that what you are experiencing currently is normal and that also that there is hope for things to get better. So on to the video. Um, so the three, the three reasons I've got here why it might seem like um, when, you've, uh, when this situation first blows up with the narcissist, so either um, you said you're leaving or you know some uh, bad catastrophe is, is going on. Um, the point really is that uh, the narcissist really, um, it, it was going to, this point in itself comes as a shock that they have been planning this for a long time. They uh, have got a strategy, they had it all planned out, they're likely to have done something similar multiple times over their life and so they've had practice on how to manipulate people and how to deal with these kind of situations. So they're very strong and steadfast in their position, they know um, what they're doing. Um, whereas you thought you were in a situation in which the other person had um, benevolent uh, loving intentions towards you, you thought that they had your back, you thought that they had your best interests at heart. So not only is that situation um, gone wrong, but you're also having to deal with um, shock. Um, not only shock, it's horrifying once you realise the truth of what's going on. Um, so um, it, it involves um, a process of grief. So you're having to go through stages of huge grief and it is, the grief is huge because you thought that one reality was correct and you're discovering that reality is falling to pieces and you're realising that another reality is correct. So as you can see, you're already way on the back foot due to no fault of your own. You're having to re-evaluate your whole reality. The second point is that um, this narcissist is likely to have been lining up other sources, other ways to get energy. So that should have been the third point, sorry. <laughs> I'll do the second point now, which is the fact that the um, a narcissist is an energy vampire. And if you're empathic, means that it, it, unless you're um, very aware of um, how to keep hold of your energy, you are liable to let people steal your energy, your life force, in fact. Um, so all the time they were siphoning energy away from you, your energy was depleting, depleting, theirs was going up further and further. Um, and now you're saying no, you're cutting that off, but they're already up there and you're down here. Um, so that, that's always what happens. You're not going to really cut it off when you're both level because... Um, you know, you, 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 you didn't realise things were so bad at that point. So this is, um, you know, no, no fault of your own. This is normal that um, by the time that you've left, they've drained all your energy from you. So that's why. Um, but so this might go along for a while, um, this situation in which it seems like the abuser, the perpetrator, uh, the manipulator, the narcissist is winning. It might seem like they're doing quite well and you're stuck there, can't really do much, and you feel like you're suffering, you feel like there's no hope, you feel like this is not fair, where's the justice here, nothing's going right, uh, and you might go into a state of fear and panic, and 
feel powerless and helpless but uh, just to let you know you are a lot more powerful than you think and the firstly thing you've got on your side is truth if you have integrity and you have a conscience and you uh, are able to generate your own energy so like I said this whole time you were with them they were taking energy from you they were finding other people to take energy from they were getting as many people as they could to take energy from and but you can create your own so the good news is about is about that is once they're no longer um, dragging you down uh, you're protecting yourself from them you're becoming free or processing your grief um, you, you're um, doing everything that you need to do uh, you have a whole you don't just have your own energy you have the whole life force energy of um, uh, uh, well of, of the world or the universe really uh, with you which is um, inf infinitely greater than uh, the power that they have because they're not generating their own um, energy like like I've said a few times um, so really this is about um, you know the title of this video is what do you do when they're winning but really you, you don't need to uh, really care about who's winning because you're going to up level um, I really believe that recovering from narcissistic abuse is a re like a rebirth so it might um, take some time you need to be really gentle with yourself uh, but you will uh, rise above this and you can also then inspire other people when they see how well you're doing and how happy you are and how at ease you are and um, how content you are then and your courage as well that's that's very um, inspiring to people and to let them know that actually they can be their true selves and that each person is unique and that they can be who they are rather than having to be a robot and having to be like everyone else um, so there's uh, so the point is there is my tip would be to you know keep the bigger picture in mind and uh, to, to keep uh, to keep the hope and um, another thing you can do is to make a note of all the things that lift your energy. So for me, it would be something like dancing or somehow way connecting with something like from my childhood, like my favourite pop band or remembering uh, when I met a famous person that I liked or, you know, that I really liked when I was younger. Uh, that's um, maybe an another story. And... Um, yeah, so or the, the people that you feel real affection towards, remember them. And my third tip was about, um, this is a, a gradual process, but it's, um, which I'll talk more about in, in, in other t videos or in a coaching session, is about really paying attention to your energy and really noticing when a situation or a person is dragging your energy and really becoming aware of that because then you can start to put down the barriers and and say no to those things and give your permit yourself permission to walk away and know that you deserve better so um i hope that was um reassuring i hope it gave you hope i hope hope it uh gave, gave some clarity to different situations and if you found the video useful please give it a thumbs up uh, please let me know in the comments if you if there are any topics in particular that you would like to see covered on other videos um, I feel like I've forgotten to say something so I will uh, write that down below in the description if I have. Um, thank you again for watching and I will look forward to speaking to you again soon. Mm -hmm.